Good morning everyone and welcome back. Today is a very, very exciting day because it is the first time in three years that I'm back fishing New South Wales. I'm gonna be here over the next couple of months doing a whole heap of fishing, whole heap of different videos. So I'm really, really excited and today marks the first day of that. And as you can see, the kayak and the Commodore made it up to New South Wales with me. So there's gonna be so many fishing opportunities, so many things to do, but today we're gonna to keep it very, very simple. We're gonna get out, explore, and see how many species we can catch in 12 hours of fishing. It's been three years since I've fished here, so there's gonna be a little bit of rust, but hopefully we can just get out here, tick a few species off, and hopefully get onto something big. Might be a bit ambitious, but we'll see what we can do. Man, it's so different in New South Wales compared to Victoria. I was talking to a couple of mates and back home it's blowing 20 to 30 knots like every day, rainy, windy, and here, no wind, sunny, and I'm already getting warm. I met someone at the boat ramp and he's like, geez, it's cold this morning. And I'm like, mate, you've got no idea. It's beautiful, I'm almost taking the jumper off. Can already see flathead lies up on the bank. It's just, oh, I'm keen. All right, so a little bit of the plan for today is I only brought out two setups. So I've got one ultra light one here. It's like a four pound line, really, really light. So hopefully on this one, we can pick up some brim, perch, tick off a few species. And then I've also got one medium combo. So on this one, I'm hoping to try and tick off a big flathead, maybe even a little jewfish if we're really lucky, but that's the aim for this setup. And I just have to tie some leader on this bad boy. This morning, I went to get some drone footage of the really nice sunrise. As soon as the drone got up in the air, a massive osprey swooped down and tried to take it out. So, don't think drone footage is going to be on the cards. Oh, whoa, look at that. The sounder just lit up with some fish. Maybe we give it a go right here. It's kind of the entrance to this little main river, main river here, creek entrance or canal entrance. So, might give it a crack around here, I reckon. Oh, right there, I'm going to cast at it. Got a little soft plastic on, a little curly tail grub. I'm just gonna cast right where that was. Oh, there we go, straight away. We got something. I'm guessing that's a little tailor. <laughs> it didn't take long. Swimming at me. Is it a tailor? Feels decent. Oh, it's a flatty. Well, that took, that was first cast. <laughs> First cast in New South Wales. So that was on that little curly tail grub on the really light combo. We'll get another cast up there. Could be some more. There we go. <laughs> Next cast, we have another little fish on. This is a different one. Second species of the day. I think that's a little tailor. Wait, is that a little queen fish? What are you, man? What is that? If anyone in the comments knows exactly what that is, let me know. It looks very spiky and very slender. I think it could be a little queenfish. Did I get queenfish here? That is the second species of the morning already. Let him go. Wow, two fish and two casts. All right, we'll go back over there. Right next to that little four knot sign is where the fish seem to be hanging out. I keep seeing them jump. There's a lot of little bait fish over there, so we will see. That's why that bird was there. That bird knew where the fish were. All right, I reckon we try upsize some of the bites we've been getting. So that little curly tail grub already providing some fish, but see if we can get something a little bit bigger. Just gonna thread the needle. Should come out about there. So we've got this 5-0 hook, 3 8 weight with this little prawn imitation with a wriggle tail. So if there's any fish around, that should get them to eat. We're just gonna try the entrance a little bit deeper along here. If any of you guys remember this rock wall where I'm fishing, the news are absolute legends. It was probably three years ago, a bit over three years ago, the last time I fished this spot. So, ooh, fish, got off. If you remember this, then these are legends. Oh geez, we might come back to this spot when the wind dies off a little bit. It's getting pretty windy. Oh, I had a scale. I had a scale on my hook. That's probably why I didn't hook up. It's cold, the wind's cold. Might try a little plastic. There we go. There we go. First cast of the little plastic. Straight on. <laughs> little flatty. 
so they're liking that little bit smaller lure. Oh, there he goes. Flicked himself off. They're really liking the smaller lure profile. Getting so many more bites, but they're probably not going to be the larger size of fish, so. Well, we are now at the bridge. So obviously a lot of structure around massive areas for bait to congregate and also for predatory fish to hold. So see what we can do here. Hopefully we get onto something. Big flatty, Jewfish, Taylor, whatever. All right, take number two. This time we've rigged up on a slightly heavier jig head just to get down to the bottom a little bit quicker. So we've got that curly tail on. Let's see if we can get something. It seems like it's very snaggy near the bridge. Oh. See what we can do. There we go. We got a fish. That's a good fish. It was just tea bag and that plastic below the kayak. We've got a good fish here. What is that? A little dewy, I think. It is. Very small dewy. <laughs> Very small dewy. <laughs> <laughs> that is the smallest little mulloway you'd ever see. <laughs> How's that? Have a look at that little fella. It is literally the smallest dewy you'll ever see, but nonetheless, it is a little mulloway. My first mulloway here in New South Wales for this trip, and hopefully the first of many. Also the third species of the day, so we've ticked off three species fairly quickly this morning, and one of them being my favourite fish of all time. That is awesome. Go on, buddy. There he goes. Little Dewey. Yes. <laughs> so cool. So, so cool. See, I got that fella just jigging. I was pretty much just jigging right next to that pile on there, and then he latched on. So every time I've cast it, I've got snagged up. So I think I might just have to vertical jig right next to that structure, and I think that's how we're going to get these fish. Hopefully, we could have just got lucky and got the one pretty quickly, but there could be a fair few more around. We'll soon see. Let's see if it was a fluke or not. It was right on this little corner here. Very unique smell to him, the little Jew. There we go. Ooh, that was a good fish. There we go. Another good fish. That's a better one. Oof, big head shakes. That could be another little Jew. Man. Second good fish we've hooked. It is another little Jew. Yeah. Tiny little Jews. Oh, there he goes. Man, it seems like we've hit the absolute mother load for micro Jewfish. That's the second one we've got about that big. Very, very small, but I'm not going to complain. I'm loving it. Well, even the Jewies have gone a little bit quiet now. A couple of boats just absolutely flew through here a minute ago, so it might have stirred up the water, spooked them a little bit. So we'll give it 45 more minutes before we try somewhere else. There we go. Yep. It's a good fish. No, he's got me. No, he got me in the structure. Oh, no. Just got done. He messed up that whole leader too. Wow, big Dewey. Bigger Dewey. It wasn't huge, but spewing. At least we know they're there. 
There's definitely some jewies under this bridge. That was a real good one. <laughs> he dusted me so quick. Needed to be a bit harder on him. Try getting out straight away before they can turn their heads, I think. Got a new lure on. This one's a pre-rigged one, so the weight's actually hidden inside the lure itself, but it looks like a really good lure, so we'll give it a crack. Oh, I think I might give up on the jewies for now. A lot of boats keep going through and it's getting pretty annoying to fish and the bites have slowed down, but we got two. Got dusted by a big one, but I'm gonna call that a success. So now I'm gonna head back down a little bit and I think I'm actually gonna target some flathead or maybe some jewfish. We might fish some rock walls, some deeper stuff and just see what we can get. Oh, they're still down there. They're still down there, but I don't think they're big. I keep losing all this gear. Okay, let's fish some rock walls. Let's see if we can catch some flathead. So I've just rigged up another soft plastic, four inch paddle tail. So we're just gonna hop that right along the drop offs along the bottom. So it goes from about one meter down to four and a half, and that's all we're going to do. Slowly work this plastic along the bottom. There we go. Got something. It's a little flatty, I reckon. There he is. Not a bad little flatty at all. Don't know how big he is, probably, I don't know, 40, 45, so. Solid, solid little fish. Let him go. See you, buddy. Oh, well, that didn't take too long. I've only been fishing this rock wall for probably five minutes, and we've already got a nice little flatty. This area looks pretty good. We might fish some pontoons, a little bit more of a rock wall. See if we can pick up a brim, a tailor, and maybe even a luderick. Those are our target species just to try and tick a few more off. We're still at three. All right, everyone, that is going to wrap up my first full day here fishing in New South Wales. Did a little bit of a multi-species challenge, but we only managed to get three, although we did get onto one of my favorites. Got onto a couple of jewfish, a few flathead, and all around it was a good day out. So if you have any video suggestions or things that you want to see while I'm here in New South Wales, then leave a comment down below. Thank you for watching this one, and I'll see you in the next video.